Hey everybody, welcome to a new episode of Sipping with Jeremy, and today we're going to be talking about tequilas from Sapiens Tequila. So a new brand for us, Sapiens is distilled at NAM 1489. They work with multiple farmers in the valley and the highlands of Jalisco, and use a brick oven to cook their agaves, and have three copper pot stills and two stainless steels that they distill in. From Sapiens, we are going to be trying their Blanco and their Blanco Ahumado. And let's go ahead and get started with the Blanco Tequila. Sapiens Blanco Tequila is made with 100% Blue Weber Agave, and they talk about using fully matured agave, so you're talking about somewhere between five and eight years for these plants to grow. Uh, part of the reason why they have sources of multiple farmers is so they can get mature agave you know, when, when necessary. Uh, but yeah, as I mentioned before, you know, this is cooked in a brick oven, and then it is distilled in both stainless and copper uh, stills. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Given that they use both valley and highland agaves for this, it definitely seems like this has more of the valley agave in there because it is very savory, more peppery kind of flavor profile. So up front you get a lot of grassy notes, some vibrant white pepper as well. Uh, there is some softer kind of apple fruit on the back end. There's a little bit of a vanilla cream uh, kind of roundness to it. Uh, then it does get more grassy and vegetal on the finish too. Uh, so it kind of has a little bit of that layering effect, you know, you get some grassiness, you get some fruit, some softer sweetness, and then some more grassiness, but definitely more of a savory overall profile in this Tequila Blanco, a uh, nice kind of sipper for sure. Let's go ahead and move on to their second Blanco, the Ahumado. Now with Sapien's second Blanco Tequila, the Ahumado, does have some coloring. You can kind of see it in the glass, you can definitely see it in the bottle, that this one has a more of a tint to it than the Blanco did. And that is because this one is aged for one to two months in charred French oak. And that's where they get the name Ahumado is because they're smoking these barrels before putting the tequila in there. And some of you might be asking, well, if it's aged for one to two months, why isn't it a Reposado? Because technically Reposados actually need to be aged a little longer than that. You usually get about two to four months on a Reposado before, but you are able to rest Blanco tequila for one to two months, usually one to three months, uh, and still call it a Blanco. Some of you might be familiar with 818 Tequila. Uh, they know they are known for doing that with their Blanco Tequila. They put it in uh, new French oak. So the f folks at Sapiens are taking French oak but charring it and then adding their Blanco Tequila for one to two months of aging. Let's go ahead and find out what it tastes like. It is interesting to see what one to two months in charred French oak does to a tequila. It's definitely different than the traditional Blanco here. In the Ahumado, you're getting a lot more of the oak spice, which isn't too surprising because for one to two months in barrel, the tequila won't be able to get too deep into the oak to get rich flavors. So it's just getting those really charred, vibrant spice flavors that oak has basically kind of at the beginning of the barrel. So with that, uh, there is a lot of that oak spice, vibrancy. Uh, you do get a little bit of a smoky characteristic as well. Uh, you still get that really nice vanilla creaminess. There's a little bit more of that vanilla creaminess here, so it is going to make it a little softer. You're kind of cutting down on the grassy herbaceousness that you got in this traditional Sapien Blanco, and this one you're getting more of the spice characteristics from the oak. Uh, still is a little bit of that grassiness that kind of pulls out more of the spice flavors, or more of the oaky flavors, I should say. And yeah, while it looks like a Reposado, it doesn't really drink like a Reposado, because Reposados typically have a little bit more roundness. Again, just a few more months in oak, and you get a little bit more of those sweeter flavors from that, where with that one to two months that you're getting this Ahumado, you're getting more of the oak spice, not as much of the sweetness from that, and that works with the grassy vegetal characteristics of just a Blanco Agave to really pull out those more savory tones. All right, everybody, that's going to wrap up this episode of Sipping with Jeremy. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Have a great day. See you soon. Don't forget to drink well.